Many measuring devices come with a Bluetooth interface to transmit measured values. In most cases, they use a special protocol, and ImageMeter supports most of these devices. However, some measurement devices appear to the mobile device as a Bluetooth keyboard. When you send a Bluetooth measurement, it behaves as if the value were entered via a keyboard. Many devices only use their special protocol, others only work as virtual keyboard input, and a few devices can operate in both modes. ImageMeter now supports both types of Bluetooth transmission. In most cases, using the app mode for transmission provides more features. For example, some devices allow remotely triggering the laser. However, if you have a device that supports keyboard input and you want to use it with multiple apps simultaneously, you can do so in the keyboard mode. To use the keyboard mode, first pair your measuring device in the Android Bluetooth settings. Once the device is paired, the measured value should be received as text input. You can test this by using any app with a text input field. Many devices can be configured to send the measured value either with its unit or as a plain number without a unit. Sometimes you can also configure the device to send a return or tab key after the value. Now, in the image meter settings, Go to the Bluetooth section and select Active Keyboard Input Devices. Choose all devices you want to use. If you added a device that sends values without a unit, you also need to select the unit setting that you will use, located below the device list. Note, if you select multiple devices, you can only choose from units that are available on all selected devices. Therefore, it is not a good idea to simply activate all available devices in the list. The selected unit is only used when values are received without a unit. If a device sends a value with a different unit, that's fine. It will be used as is. When using Bluetooth keyboard devices, you do not need to activate Bluetooth mode on the main screen as the measurement device is already paired with the Android system. Simply open the editor, draw or select a measurement and send the measurement while the element is active. The measurement value should appear automatically. Sometimes you may want to annotate your images with units that your measurement device does not support. In this case, Go to the Bluetooth settings and deactivate Use Keyboard Device Value Format. When this option is disabled, ImageMeter will replace the received value and format it in the app's default unit. The default unit is what you have configured in the Measures settings. Now, the value inserted into the image will be converted to the default unit set in the ImageMeter preferences. You can also use Bluetooth keyboard devices with the PC version of ImageMeter in the same way. One thing to be aware of on a PC is that in some transmission modes, the measurement device may send a return or tab key after the measurement. Since these keys are used as shortcuts in the ImageMeter editor, I recommend avoiding modes that send these keys. However, if you need to use these modes because another software requires them, you should disable the shortcuts for these keys in the image meter settings. On the PC, you can also use the manual keyboard input option to enter values manually using your regular keyboard. When enabled, you can input values in various formats.